Hey everybody, welcome into Saturday Night Rewind. I'm Forrest Tucker. Thanks so much for joining us tonight here for a very special Solid Blue Report. Now for the first time this season, Kentucky football does not end a Saturday with a win. Just unfortunate. Hey, shout out to Georgia for saving the game they play their best in for the Wildcats, right? Great one. Good job, Georgia. Anyways, I have to show you these highlights. I'm contractually obligated as per my job title, even though I don't want to. So let's let's see here. Okay, first quarter down in Athens. Carson Beck to Marcus Rosamy Jack Saint. Catch and run for number one. He goes to the doghouse. Seven nothing early on for UGA. UK's first two drives, by the way, ended in punts. Later on here. Beck fades one to Rara Thomas. That's ruled incomplete, but hey, the ref says, nope, that is a TD. Plus seven for the dogs. That's easy math. Second quarter here, UGA on a long drive. Oscar Delp just gets in between two cats. Are you kidding me? 21 nothing, just like that. It's got to be, got to be harder for them. Oh, my lordy. Anyways, minutes later, big blue in the red zone. Ray Davis getting the first down here. See him get through some tackles and get inside the five. That sets up Devin Leary to go rolling out here, and he's going to find Josh Caddis, the big tight end, in the end zone. Almost <laughs> runs over Dick Gabriel over there, big blue insider. He is unscathed, though. Cats get some back, 21-7. BBN happy there, all right? Can we get something going? UGA forced multiple three and outs in this one and got to Leary a few times too. Here he is throwing up to Dane Key, and this is almost intercepted here. Georgia defensive back almost gets it, but Key, good job from him, just punching out at the last second. And then here's a nice pass rush off the edge. Two guys, one from the side, one from the middle, smacking Leary to the ground. Another one here for Georgia, right up the middle. Cats just in a bad, bad spot right there. Wildcats went down to Georgia, not sticking around. Neither will we for the second half. Dogs beat the Cats 51 to 13. Right, sports director and UK Sports Network color analyst Jeff Pecoro saw the loss from the radio booth in Athens. Here's what he had to say after the game over the phone to me just a minute ago. Well, Forrest, I think this was a game that none of us saw coming, and Georgia coming off of last week's close game they you know they started slow well they didn't start slow today they jumped all over kentucky i think kentucky was very amped up early in the game and that caused some big mistakes you had two 15 big 15 yard major penalties on kentucky one on Deion walker one on jagger burton uh you know then you had a holding call on jagger uh and, and things just kind of fell apart from there you know you 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 get it to 14 to 7 and you're going to get the ball back and instead of that you have a 15-yard penalty, and they go down and score, makes it 21-7, to and the avalanche started. And uh, five penalties for 60 yards in the first half, and you only generate 183 yards of offense um, after what you did last week, and that you just you just cannot have that. They're, they, they just, uh, you know, like I said, the ball started rolling downhill, and it was steamrolling from there. All right, thank you, Jeff. Coming up after the break, Moorhead State looking to get back in the dub column. I'll tell you how the Eagles did versus Dayton. Looking for a convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. You know it. Now through October 13th, you can join for just $1 down, $10 a month. We've got over 2,400 locations with most open 24 hours. Join now to enjoy free fitness training and equipment for every workout. Whether you're new to a gym or a fitness pro, the Judgment Free Zone is the place for you. Join Planet Fitness today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Cancel any time. Deal ends October 13th. Oh, yeah, that's the energy. If you're looking to keep it local for your upcoming gatherings, there is no better place than Critchfield Meats Family Market. Since 1969, Critchfield Meats has been happy to serve the highest quality products to all of Lexington. Whether you're looking for fresh cut meat, farm fresh produce, or a fast quality meal, Critchfield has you covered. Enjoy local goods and treats from our Kentucky Proud collection and more. Sit back and let us do the work for you with Critchfield's catering services. Stop by Critchfield Meats where everyone is treated like family. For top-of-the-line auto care, for your exotic and vintage vehicles, you need Stugart Motors. The Stugart family has been Lexington's number one exotic car repair facility for over 45 years, and we're not stopping anytime soon. Come see Chris at Broadway or Sean at West Main for specialized and dedicated automotive experience. We believe high-quality cars deserve high-quality care. Get that care at Stugart Motors. 859-255-7424.
Flowers are fighters. That's why the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's is full of them. Because flowers find a way to break through. Just like we will. Join the fight at alz.org slash walk. This portion of ABC 36 News is brought to you by 46 Solutions, your technology partner. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Saturday Night Rewind Force Tucker with you. A three-game losing streak has plagued the Moorhead State Eagles since week two of their season. Against Dayton, they got right back on their flight path. To the highlights, we go out in Moorhead. The one and three Eagles looking to get a step closer to 500. Here we go, picking things up late in the second quarter. Game tied at seven. Get up there. Carter Craven, the quarterback, passes to Ryan up. He scores on a 26-yard run for the touchdown, 14-7. Late in the first half, though, Dayton fakes the spike and throws it back the end zone. Gutsy play does not pay off. Kalen Lyons intercepts. 14 7 at the half, that lead is preserved. In the second half now, Moorhead State pulling away James Lewis. See him here. He is cutting through defenders. He scores a 23-yard touchdown run. 21 to 7. All right, Eagles Craven more to end things off. Cravens has a two yard run, his one of three touchdowns on the day. Moorhead moving to two and three with a 31 to 7 dub. Double C after the W. We started off uh, conference play a little slow, started off 0 2. Those are two games we felt like, you know, we competed well in and we could have won both of them. So it was really big coming into this week, you know, just putting that behind us and getting a big win this week. So <laughs> Bet that Gatorade feels real good. Okay, from east to west we go Louisville at home tonight in a big ACC clash with Notre Dame as they look to stay perfecto. The cards getting lucky versus the Fighting Irish. Highlights, let's roll them in the first quarter. Plummer, the quarterback, throwing, escaping some pressure. He has Jamari Thrash in the back of the end zone. Touchdown card, seven to nothing. We have the same score in LNN until the second quarter. Sam strikes back. Jordan Faison gets the pass from Sam Hartman, the quarterback. 10 to 80. It's even Stevens. The touchdown there gets us tied up. In the third quarter, we go now tied at 10. Jahar Jordan runs, and look at that, breaking through some tacklers. He's going to go 20, 15, 10, 5. Pater, 17 to 10. Cardinals add another Jordan touchdown and three field goals later on. The final, 33 to 20. Louisville moving to 6 and 0. Right, we have some more scores from college football from around the bluegrass. Center College loses to Trinity, Texas, 31-3. Georgetown getting back on the winning track, 52-24 win versus Bethel down in Tennessee. And then Kentucky State losing a tough one to Grand Valley State, 65-7. Right, that's all the time we have for Saturday Night Rewind. What a fun time it was, everyone. Sydney and Jordan will wrap up the show right after these messages. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I'm Forrest Tucker.